Hello everyone and welcome to my Japanese inspired world and this relaxing long play with commentary. Today we're going to be working on building up a cozy jungle path that kind of will wind all the way around this mountain to the top because I have plans to build something here but I want to kind of make a nice path with like some rooted dirt, some coarse dirt, some moss. Oh, I just kind of broke that block. And kind of put some jungle leaves around the edges, kind of like what we have here, but just kind of wind it up around the mountain. You can already kind of see I've widened the path so that we can add our rooted dirt, coarse dirt, adding in some lanterns, probably some brown concrete powder, all those different blocks. And then we'll just wind it all the way up to the top here. So this is what we're going to be kind of creating today is just making this path look super pretty and cozy. So we first need to go and collect a bunch of the supplies to make a said path. So we're gonna go collect brown concrete, rooted dirt, coarse dirt, azalea leaves, moss, some mud bricks, as well as some lanterns. So we're gonna go over to our new storage room that I've made recently and pull whatever we can from there. But we'll probably also just go out into our world and go collect what we need. Cause I'm pretty sure I don't have uh, the brown dye to make brown concrete powder. So we will probably need to go looking for some cocoa beans. But this is my storage and we don't have a lot of mud for mud bricks. We're also running low on dirt, so we might have to go actually collect some dirt. But we've got azalea leaves, so we'll just grab some of these now. We are gonna probably put some decor, like some vines and some little flowers and plants. But first we're gonna get the actual path figured out. I clearly have not moved everything over to our new storage room from my old storage room, but that is something that I will do at a later point. And I wanted to have mud bricks, but I'm trying to remember if I even moved them over. A little chest ASMR. I have all my wood moved over, but I don't think I need that right now. So for now, we've got our azalea leaves, moss, some mud, and grass. So let's go over to our original storage house, because I think that's where we're going to find most everything that we'll need since... I haven't actually taken the time to move everything over into the new storage build. I've just been keeping it right here uh, behind these little trapdoors. Actually, I could kind of open these and check my chest from the outside. I didn't think of this until just now. That is actually kind of convenient. I'm a big fan of that, actually. I can just be sneaky about it. Um, oh, here we go. Here's a bunch of the mud. So we'll take a bunch of mud here. Close that one, check what's in here. Uh, we've got some more dirt, this is great. So we'll take that with us, perfect. And for we'll need some gravel to make the concrete. So we gotta find where I put my gravel. It's kind of weird pulling these open from like opposite sides. Okay, so we've got some gravel. I think it, to make concrete, is it sand and gravel? I'm trying to remember. Is it dirt? I think it's sand and gravel. So if we go and grab some sand again. Let's just go like so. And I think it would be... So we need a die. So if I do this... Okay. I think that I have it correct. I'm trying to remember how to make concrete powder. Okay, yes, it was sand and gravel, so we need to have brown dye, which I actually do have a lot of brown dye, so that's wonderful. So we'll make some brown concrete powder and use that for some of our floor block variants. And we do need to get more of the gravel because we need to make some more coarse dirt. So that's something we need to go do is find some gravel. But I hope that this long play can just keep you company, whether you're playing Minecraft yourself or studying, getting tasks done, or if you're working on projects and just need someone to kind of hang out with you. I kind of just wanted to make this as a way to get some projects done for both you and for me. So I hope this can keep you company, even if you end up sleeping to these at all, if you enjoy that. But I just want to some pride. I just wanted to provide some chill vibes. Okay, 
So, I don't know what other... I don't know why I put my rooted dirt and packed mud in here. Interesting. Don't know what I was thinking there. But I think most of the blocks we have... We need to get lanterns, but we need a lot more than just one. But let's put these bamboo blocks back, and I'm going to take the lantern. And then I think because we've got some extra iron... We can probably just make a bunch of ingots, except I'm going to use half this pile. So let's convert these into little guys. And then we'll make a bunch of lanterns. Okay, perfect. We've got f five. Not a lot, but it's better than what we had. Now what I want to do is set up a little chest system on the starting bit of the path so I'm actually gonna grab some chests just so we can have all of our resources kind of like collected into one spot and let's just see here we'll take some more wood with us and we'll make some chests okay and then I'm gonna temporarily put those chests in there and now we're gonna go and start putting some of the resources we've collected so far in front of our path area. I'm really excited to actually work on this path because I think it's gonna look so pretty, especially as it winds up here. I'm just so excited to see how this is gonna turn out. I think it'll be so pretty. So it'll be very fun to see this progress as we go. But as far as supplies, I have a little bit of dirt. We need to do some terraforming because I kind of just like stopped like evening this out on the edge here. And I definitely need to terraform this to kind of like make it more like a hill, more like an edge. And I kind of liked the idea of having this mountainside hill be all green and so adding moss blocks along the edges and getting rid of the podzole and just like the grass and dirt blocks so that would be another thing but for starters we're just gonna work on this path here so we're just gonna get all of our supplies put away i've already got some mud bricks we've got a lot of concrete powder but we'll probably get more so we'll just leave all of these guys here I do need a lot more of the actual mud bricks and packed mud. So what we're going to do is we're going to be moving and leaving a bunch of our uh, supplies there and going to harvest up our wheat so that we can make a bunch of packed mud. Luckily, I'm pretty close to where a mangrove swamp is. So when we need to get new uh, mud blocks because we need more packed mud it's not too far away but let's quick harvest this at the little wheat field Alright, and all of the wheat, we're going to leave all the seeds in here and grab the wheat with us. And we're also going to go sleep. 
because it is night and I don't want any bad guys getting me. This is my survival world, so we definitely will have mobs coming out into here. And we're going to sleep inside our sniffer sanctuary so we can say hello to our sniffers and take a little nap. But this is what my sniffer sanctuary looks like. We've got three little ones in here. So we've got our little friend Ichigo, we've got Takara, and we've got Suika. So because this is a Japanese inspired world, I have all of my little pets and animals named something in Japanese. So it's been kind of fun to have it be more of like a themed uh, world with animal names and the build styles. But let's take a quick little nap here. Okay, I will see you guys later. We're gonna keep working on stuff out here. I love this little hallway. It's just so cozy. Okay, so we should be able to make a lot more packed mud. There we go, perfect. Okay, packed mud, amazing. And we have tons of wheat left over, so if we need to make more, we can definitely make more. But I think the next thing that we're gonna need is we need a lot more rooted dirt and we need coarse dirt so we're gonna go collect up a bunch of gravel so i'm gonna have two things of sand here to remind me two things of sand i'm gonna also get two stacks of gravel and then i think what i'm also wanting to do is probably go and find some azalea trees and just uh, collect like a few stacks of the rooted dirt as well. But a lot of what we're going to be using is a lot of the regular dirt and coarse dirt. So we'll probably have to go and get some more stacks of regular dirt. And then we'll grab coarse dirt as well. So let's start looking around where we can find some gravel. I'm going to just start looking in my area first. Okay, perfect. Already gravel. Maybe I'll go get a door, because this will deplete my uh, air bubbles pretty quickly. I won't have a lot of oxygen. So we're going to go and collect some doors. That will probably be a lot easier. Or if I only I had a conduit, you know, a conduit would be very cool to have. Okay, we've got some bamboo doors. So in honor of most of our area being bamboo themed, We've definitely used a lot of bamboo. We even are trying to use the green bamboo on some of our builds. So you can see over here we have our farms, which have a lot more of the green bamboo blocks in them. Whereas kind of just the regular builds, like with my starter home, our animal barn, the bridges are using the yellow bamboo. But let's go back and find that group of gravel here. Perfect, okay. Let's put a door right here and go in the air bubble. There we go. Oh yes, much easier. And safer, honestly. Okay, and then let's put one right here and go down in this air bubble. Oh, the sun looks kind of cool underneath the water as well. Okay, perfect. It's also nice that the doors kind of like help you uh, get all of the blocks up a lot quicker because you're not needing to like be holding your breath and I guess it makes it harder to like move blocks. But I also don't have like respiration or uh, the aqua, whatever it's called. Yeah, I don't have aquafinity, that's what it was. Ooh. Don't want to drown. That would not be fun. Okay. So we've almost got two stacks, which is pretty good already. Let me grab my second door here. Once we go in the air bubble and get our breath caught back up. There we go. Okay. And then I saw a bunch of gravel over here. So we're just going to clean up this gravel first. And then we'll just go in the little pocket. Honestly, I should just grab sand as well while we're here because we'll need to make more concrete anyways. We can just kind of 
clean everything up on the edges here. And then... I think we're good, so let's scoop this up and grab our door. And we'll get all of our locks picked up. Swimming around on the little river floor. There we go. And we'll go inside the door here. And scoop up some more. And let's put one right here. And scoop some more up. The gravel will just be good because this will help me make rooted dirt and it will also help me make the concrete powder. So it's perfect that we can get all of this. Okay, and then we'll get our oxygen filled and go for a little swim to collect everything. Perfect. We'll just get some air bubbles in here quick. Go back swimming around. There we go. Perfect. Okay, and then there's some over here. Oop, come back to me door. There we go. We're just kind of sitting in the doors, you know, collecting our blocks. Works great. Okay. And then I think we're going to just collect this door as well. Now with sand, we don't have as much sand as we need. So maybe we just start, oh, there's some at the top, I forgot forgot that they'd probably all float so let's collect these up but we'll definitely need to collect more sand I feel like I like the idea of pulling the resources that I need from the bottom of the river here just because it makes my riverway even larger of like a water basin and it doesn't like look as well frankly it doesn't look as bad if I'm taking resources uh, from under the water because you don't see it as much versus if I were to take these all from the land we would definitely notice there's just a ton of like materials missing but here you don't see them unless you're actually like swimming underwater and you'd see all of these so we're just going to collect all our sand from under here as well and our dirt we did need a lot more dirt Okay, there we go. And then we're gonna take this and collect up all our blocks. It's interesting how some of these blocks will stay on the bottom of the water and others will rise to the top of the water. I wonder what causes that, cause it's kind of interesting. Oh, I should also start eating some, some snacks. Don't want to lose all of my levels. Oh, hi, sir. Go away. I'm working here. Some people don't like having knockback on their weapons, on their sword, but I honestly don't mind having them just get pushed really far away, especially if there's a creeper that's like really close to me. If I hit it with knockback and then it is just way further away from me, I would much rather have that. Sometimes with certain mobs, it does kind of get a little bit tough because if I'm trying to say, look for blazes and I'm trying to like actually like kill them, but I keep on pushing them away from me, like that gets kind of difficult. But if I'm just trying to like work on stuff like I am here. Okay, we've got our two stacks of sand and two stacks of gravel. It's good to know. But for me right now, like, I'm fine not having the drowned be super close to me. And when they are close to me, I can just use that and just knock them. I do also have looting three, so I do get a lot more different uh, drops from them. But I don't mind that at all. I think it's great to have all the drops. Grab more sand over here. And then I think I'm going to just collect a bunch of sand and gravel right here. So we'll go right in here. Resource collecting is one of those things where it's just like, you can just relax. You can just turn your brain off and just focus on collecting all the stuff that you need. It's just a very relaxing task. So I thought this would be a kind of enjoyable thing to do. 
uh, while we're doing a little long play, kind of just hanging out together for this. But I also am excited to work on this path. I've been kind of messing around with different layouts in creative and seeing what like other people are doing. And I'm really excited to use these blocks. I've never really used like brown concrete powder before as like a decorative block for building paths and stuff. So I'm really excited to try this out. I think it'll be fun just trying new things, you know? I think it's always good to try new things if you see someone doing something really cool or you've just seen like a bunch of people try something, like why not? Trying something is always a good thing because we might end up finding something that we really enjoy using that we never would have found unless we, you know, went for it. Okay, and we're going to go up again, wait till our oxygen is good, go back down, and then grab our door. And there is our one door. All right, well, we have a lot more gravel, so this is actually super good. So I feel like we will have a lot more coarse dirt after this, which is great. And I'm excited for it. Okay, so let's go swimming up. And we also need to go sleep with the sniffers again because I don't want creepers or anything coming out of nowhere and blowing up little sections of what we're about to be building. So we're gonna go sleep again really quick. Hello guys, I'm back. Do you have any seeds for me by chance? Just wanna, you know, go in between you guys, do a little check, okay. Another thing I need to do is set up a collection system underneath here because right now I am probably losing a fair bit of the seeds that they're pulling up when I'm in this world just because I don't have anything to go under them and collect up the seeds. And I would love to get more of these different flowers that are from the sniffers, but I'm just losing out on a lot of the seeds because I'm not really... Uh, catching all of them if i'm in there with them then sure i thought i just heard a spider but if i'm in there with them like sure like i'll definitely like hear it um i don't want to use all of the gravel so we'll just manually get our stacks i feel like maybe three stacks would be good so let's see if we can get three stacks okay so we've got three stacks of coarse dirt. We'll probably need more than this. This is just where I want to start, right? We're just starting here. And then we've got our brown dye, so we'll make more brown concrete powder. We already had how much? 32. So I'm going to hold this here so I can just remember how much we have. But I feel like a stack would be good. A stack and a half. Because we have a lot of space, so we'll start with that. So I think that will be good. And we still have a lot of brown dye left. That's so good. Oh, good, oh, good, good. Okay, perfect. And uh, we've still got lots of gravel left. We'll probably use a lot more of that on the coarse dirt, which I'm actually going to just use right now. I feel like that would just be smart. I love how much coarse dirt you get from just using gravel and dirt. Like, we get so much, and it makes me very, very happy. So next I want to go collect a bunch of the rooted dirt because we don't have that yet. We'll definitely need more of the like mud bricks, especially the, the slabs. So I'm probably going to go get my stone cutter and we'll need more of the azalea leaves. So we're also going to farm up these guys. So I'm just going to organize. I like organizing my inventory based on like what blocks I need. So like if I need two stacks of azalea flowers, I'll kind of like put it in order like this. So I need two stacks of azalea leaves and one of the flowering. And then probably rooted dirt, we'll do, I honestly would love to find two stacks, which is a lot of just finding azalea trees and tunneling down. And then because they lead us to the lush caves, we'll be able to get more moss. And I feel like I have a decent amount of moss, but we're going to find more. So I think this will be good. We don't really need any of these things in here, but we will need more food. So before we go looking for the azalea trees and collecting up rooted dirt, I'm going to get more food. 
and I think I honestly want to go and harvest our carrot field. I made these fields so that I would have like extra food on hand, but I honestly have not utilized and taken advantage of this very often. So let's get our fortune pick because I'm pretty sure if you use the fortune pick, you get way more carrots. Maybe that's just a myth, but I feel like that's true. So yeah, we're already getting a lot, but we're just gonna harvest up our carrots and we'll replant, of course. There we go. Oh, we're already munching on them. I'm curious to hear from you guys. What's some of your favorite things to do in Minecraft? I feel like even just harvesting and planting crops down again is just very relaxing and enjoyable. I think caving is also something that can be relaxing. You know, if you're like strip mining, you can kind of just put on some music, put on a show, like it can be a cozy little thing. But a lot of times, well, I do not need this many carrots, my goodness. We'll just take a stack of carrots. I feel like that'll be good for our little adventure. But I feel like sometimes like caving can be scary just because we have to deal with the mobs that are in there, but like strip mining, very straightforward, very chill, but I'm curious what you guys would say your favorite things to do in Minecraft are. I think for me, I enjoy, oh, you're back. These guys were here uh, a little bit earlier when I was working on some other things. Where's your friends though? Is it just you? Are they on the roof of something? Where's your friends? <laughs> oh. They're in the water, oh no. And I have villagers here. So I'm not really looking to get into a fight. So we're just gonna go the other way. We're gonna go, oh hi little guy. We're gonna go look for azalea trees on this side of things. I don't have flint and steel or I could get a bucket of milk right away. I just do not wanna start a raid. Can you imagine me just trying to like enjoy some very cozy, relaxing time in Minecraft just ends up setting off a raid? Oh, I would, I would not like that at all. <laughs> okay, so now we're just gonna look for our little azalea trees around here. Oop, don't fall into the lava. That's the lava pool I use to collect obsidian from most of the time. But there is a bunch of lush caves around here below me, so I know we should be able to find where some of these azalea trees are. I just need to find one. I know I've also collected up some leaves, so there's a good chance that they're just like a stump or I just like left a rooted dirt block kind of like exposed. But I just need to figure out where they would be. So we're just kind of looking around the jungle. You kind of get to see what else is around this area. I feel like I remember there being some rooted dirt somewhere over here. Those guys are still around. Yep, don't, don't like them. It is a little bit more concerning now that I have villagers in this area whenever I run into these guys because I really, really don't want to deal with pillagers. That would be like the last thing I want. Okay, maybe we'll try crossing our little little bridge here. This is the, the lush cave that I go into pretty regularly to collect different things. It's quite the ravine and drop down. So I do need to be careful I don't accidentally fall because there's a shot, there's a chance that I could make the shot. You know, I could land in the water, but there's also the drip leaf and clay. Okay, I'm just going to free cam and we're just gonna look up a little bit to see if we can find any azalea trees. Because I feel like I've seen a bunch of them around here, but right now I'm just not finding any, which is kind of interesting. I feel like whenever you need a specific thing, you can't find it in the world, right? But if you're not looking for it, you see them like all over the place. And I feel like that is true 
of me with these azalea trees. I'm looking for pink, just a little bit of pink. There's a little, I've uh, collected up some of these. Oh, there's a creeper in the boat with our panda. Oh no, that's a little dangerous. I've collected up some of these pandas because I do want to collect all of the panda variants. I think that would be so much fun. Um, but we just have to find them. I feel like I remember there being... I don't want to go too close to where the pillagers are either. That's why I'm kind of like free camming over here. Because I was pretty sure I had... A... Uh, azalea tree here at one point. And maybe I just covered it over. I didn't think I did. But who knows? I probably did. Hard to know. Hmm. Okay. Well. Let's see. Rooted dirt. We're gonna cross back over. It was around this area. So we're just gonna check a little bit more. Oh yeah, this is my iron farm. <laughs> you just hear all of a sudden the iron golems just being burned alive yep i've got the iron farm it works really well i'm very happy with it so as long as i'm in the area it stays working very well for me i was pretty sure around here is where i had the rooted dirt but i wonder if we can just like tower up and then make a bunch of rooted dirt or maybe we just go on an adventure to find more that might be a little bit easier of the task but i want those pillagers to despawn where did they go are they still around or did they leave nope they're still there they're just hiding under the water <laughs> not what i want okay but you know oh there was one right here. I'm so silly. My goodness. Yay. Okay. Oh, wait. What is down here? Oh, interesting. Oh, I've definitely already kind of like been here and collected some, but we're just going to come down here even more and just continue collecting up the rooted dirt. Interesting. Okay. We've got a nice little path down here. That's so funny. Okay, let's uh, get to collecting. I'm going to have my shovel and my axe so that we can get through all of the different stone layers. I do like that to get the rooted dirt. It kind of like leads you down if you follow the roots all the way down into a lush cave area. I do think that's like a fun feature that they added with these azalea leaves. It is kind of like a very winding process though. We're going to want stone more. So we'll use our silk touch pick. Ooh, we've got some coal and such. We've still got our doors. So this is actually helpful. And I need air quickly. There we go. Don't want to die while we're trying to collect things. That would not be ideal. I could also just, you know, grab my, uh, <laughs> I think there's water. Yes, I was like, there's water, but I think I can get out of it. Perfect. Okay. Now we're going to go back in here. Continue on our way. Oh, we're going to have to go. There's going to be like a <laughs> under the water part of this. Very fun. So I'm glad I still have my doors. Having doors be able to give you air pockets is so helpful in the game. I'm really glad that they decided to make that a thing. Can you imagine trying to like 
do this without that. We would, I mean, you just use like potions and things, but it's just very convenient having the ability. Oh, this goes all the way underwater the whole time. Ooh, interesting. Okay. Good to know. Okay. Get our air bubbles back. There's a bunch of our rooted dirt. So we're going to go like this. Oh, come on. Come on. Get unstuck. There we go. All right, we almost have two stacks and we still have a lot to collect here, which is crazy that there's just like that much. We can also stand on a magma block. That's also another option to keep our like breath. Okay, so there's some over here. So we'll collect these and we'll collect these. Okay, is this an air bubble? Oh, it is an air bubble. Look at that. How nice. Okay, and then we have two stacks and some, but I want to collect more than just that, so we're going to keep going. So we'll just place down a door again. Come on, there we go. And then right again here. I would love for this to be something that like goes back into just being not in water. That would be great. Just to not have to deal with the, all of the water as we're doing this. I feel like it's always just a little bit scarier because I don't want to like... Okay, I'm shifting so I won't actually hurt myself. Just, you know, laying on some magma cubes, you know, just having a good time. Getting a little bit toasty warm again. Gotta love it. Oh. 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 Don't like this. Don't like this. No, thank you. Okay. Let's uh go on the magma again. Okay. So that opens up into an actual cave. And I do have my bow with me. I only have... I have 64 arrows. So we could go down there. So... Let's do this. Okay, okay. We're here. Whew, a little bit scary, but we made it. Does this open up to a big cave too? Or is this just a water cave? Oh, this is the water cave side, okay. I'm learning about my area, which is also fun. I just need to be careful. <laughs> Trying to like fight the water right now. Not as ideal. But we're getting it. We're getting all of the blocks that we need. This is gonna keep going down for a ways, goodness. And swim forward. Okay. Oh, we're going to Lapis level. What level are we on? We're on level 30. Okay, well, I feel like we definitely have enough rooted dirt for us to just kind of make our way up and out. We just have to follow this. Follow, oh, there's a door. <laughs> Follow that. And I need to like hop my way out of here next. So I'm going to place down some stone. And that will help me kind of hop out of here. Or will it? This will help me hop out. The struggle of like trying to get out sometimes of water is just interesting. <laughs> okay, and it is dark, so I need to be careful when I get up and out of here. I do not want to hurt myself with mobs getting me or have them see me. That is the last thing that I want. But I do have my my bow. I'll have my my little sword ready too. And then, oh, they're still there. Oh my goodness, Kate. We're going to swim under this bridge. I am not dealing with pillagers today. No, thank you. And I'm curious to try this. This is where my bed is inside here. If I just like sneak on in, look at that. And we can take our nap. 
perfect. I hope that with whatever you guys are working on while you're watching this, that you are having a wonderful day. I've got a little cup of coffee next to me that I'm enjoying as we're going through and just doing this little let's play project together and building together. And it's really fun. I really enjoy it. We've got seeds, so we'll go put it in our food drawer. And... Yeah, I think it's really fun to just like play some Minecraft together or just kind of like get to hang out while you're getting stuff done. That's kind of just like a, a little friend hanging out with you. So I hope that you enjoy these long play style videos. I think just having them on in the background for things is always really nice. Ooh, we'll grab some of the moss from here. I at least think it's enjoyable. We'll grab some moss carpet. And some, and some little bushes. Why not? We'll grab a little bit of a little bush, guys. I think it's fun. Okay, and do I want a spore blossom? Since it's a path that might not work, so we'll just leave it for now. But let's just uh, bring all of our stuff back and get to building. Well, I guess terraforming and placing blocks because we're not necessarily like building anything. Are those guys still here, by the way? I'm very curious. Just from a distance, looking from afar. I think that's his toes. Yeah, okay, they're still there. I'm gonna free cam over there because I feel like one of them is just like, um, hello? Why are you levitating? <laughs> that is, what are you doing? Are you, okay. Um, so I think he's looking at me. Yeah, he's definitely looking at me, so gotta keep that in mind. He's stuck. I don't see his other friends, which I'm honestly okay with. But there's at least two of them. <laughs> and this guy's struggling. <laughs> That's hilarious. Okay. Ah, uh, I love the night sky in our area. It's so pretty. Okay. Going to take our nap with the sniffers. I feel like sometimes the time goes by really quick. Okay. Oh, we didn't get azaleas, but we can bone meal these and give us more azaleas. So let's actually do that quick. So we're going to bone meal these. I'm going to grab more bone meal once we sleep, but I don't want to have the rooted dirt take over right here. So we're just going to go like so. And then I'm going to take a nap. Actually, let's see if I can just bone meal these now and see how much we can get. Oh, that worked, actually. Okay, nice. And now we're just going to sleep. And in the morning, we're going to collect those up. And then I feel like we'll have enough blocks everywhere. Hi, guys. Any seeds for me? Oh, I see. I see some. <gasps> Yay, there's some seeds. Okay, we'll plant you. Oh. You sound so sad. I plant you. <gasps> Hi, bud. Okay. So we've got all three of them. Oh, look at you. You got me a seed as well. Let's plant you right there. I love that they give us these new seed variants. I think it's super fun. It's just pretty to have new flowers in Minecraft. It's very enjoyable and exciting that they can, like, unearth some of them. Oh, he's sniffing the little seeds I just planted. How cute. All right. So, for this path design, the edges are going to be lined with our azaleas, and then we're going to have the rooted dirt, some of the mud bricks and things on the side. Let me just uh, get up here so we can collect all of these up. Maybe I'll just go like so. This might be a little easier. I think I need to be closer again. So uh, let's just use the dirt and come a little bit closer. Well, this actually got to be a really tall oak tree. I didn't imagine it would get this tall, but you know, it works. It works just fine, but let's just take this one down a little bit and I can reach more of these. 
Okay, and then we'll get all of the flowers. The flowering ones and the regular ones. I like how even bees like the flowering ones. Like, it just fits, you know? That it, even the bees that have the flowering ones that they're, like, interested in. It all just checks out, you know? And, you know, if we need more wood for our torches, we've got them. It works out great. And we get a little bit extra of our rooted dirt, too. Which is very cool. Awesome. Look at this. Ha, ah, I love it. Alright, now we're going to move these. And then we're going to start changing over the block palette from just dirt and podzol. Which, I'm very excited to see this transform slowly. So we're going to get all of our blocks into our inventory here and move the things we don't need quite yet. So uh, let's just put the coal back in. We've got a bunch of torches, so we can actually make some more lanterns, which will be great. So we have 10 lanterns to line the sides. And let's do, we've got our coarse dirt. We will use our concrete powder. We've got rooted dirt, so that's perfect. And I won't need these. Really the only blocks that I'm going to need are going to be the shovel, honestly, because it's mostly dirt that I'm going to lay down first in the concrete powder. We'll take some normal dirt with us just in case we need to like put blocks underneath the concrete powder just so it doesn't keep falling down. That's like the one thing that I don't want to have happen. But we're going to grab... I'm curious to see what like the turn over is if I go like this. So four of the packed muds gives me four mud bricks. Now, one quick thing I want to check is if I use the stone cutter, I'm pretty sure it doesn't make a difference. Like, that is the one thing that using a stone cutter on the packed mud, like, actually doesn't change how much you get out of it. I, I was about to say I think they despawn, but he's still just chilling in the trees there. As long as the captain's not around, I'm fine with that. Okay, so then if I do packed... Oh, I can't even put packed mud in here. It was the mud bricks that I can put in here. Okay, well, I want slabs, so we're going to bring that with us. But if I do three here, I get six slabs, which is good. And if I do mud bricks here, I get two out of the four. Or I get three and I get six. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'll just bring it with us, just in case. But it does seem like with three mud bricks laid across, you end up getting six versus two. You only two, you get two, which is interesting. So it almost seems like you get more just by, you know, putting it in the crafting table, right? But I wanted to bring it just in case I do decide I want to use it. But if I take these, I get six right? But if I use this, I guess is it, yeah, so for one, I get two, so if I was doing three, it's the same, because if I do three across the bottom and I use up three, we still get six, so I guess it doesn't matter too much. It's the same. I like the sound of the stone cutter more, honestly. <laughs> it's kind of like a fun little aesthetic sound, but I like the idea of putting little, like, mud bricks on the edges of here. So I think I'm going to convert a bunch of these. And then some of these we're going to just turn into little slabs. But let's uh, get going. So we're just going to kind of replace some of this. So we'll just replace it like so. And then I wanted a lot of the coarser to just be, like, on the edges mainly. But then we'll also mix in some of this rooted dirt. I didn't want to have like grass around. So I think if I line the edges with the coarse dirt and then replace the grass blocks with regular dirt blocks, I think it will actually allow me to do just regular dirt blocks because none of the grass blocks can reach, right? Which would be really helpful actually. So we're just going to go like so. And then on the other side... So we'll just like completely like kind of protect our special blocks. So we'll add in a powdered one, some coarse dirt, and then we'll just start working on the edge here. I kind of like the idea of like filling the edges out first 
I feel like that'll be nice just so I can kind of like visualize like how I'm going to make this all work, right? How we will fit it together. I almost want to get a different shovel because if I were to use a different diamond shovel, I would get more of the regular dirt blocks back instead of the grass blocks, which I kind of like that idea, honestly. Because right now with all of this grass, it's just going to convert all of my blocks. And I don't really want that. So we've got coarse dirt, go like so. I'm so excited to see what this looks like in the end. I think doing things like this and just seeing the transformation, definitely one of my favorite things in the game. I like thinking of Minecraft as like, it is a blank canvas. Like you get to create whatever you want with what you have before you. And I think that that's really cool that it's completely a sandbox game. You get to make it whatever you feel like making it. Like, no one's gonna tell you, like, you're doing it wrong, right? It's, like, fully your thing, which is really fun to me. I'm also gonna grab some, like, moss. I think that'll be nice. We can, like, sprinkle some moss on the edges, maybe. So just on the edges a little bit. Have more of, like, a vibrant green, right? I think a vibrant green would be nice. <laughs> you can hear the sniffers through. <laughs> This is where uh, the Sniffer Sanctuary is, so if you're wondering, you can see them in there. But that's so funny, you can literally hear them just doing their little grunts. They're, they're so cute. And then we'll add in another little... Oh, I don't want the concrete powder to like ever be kind of like mixed in on the same line, unless I do some of this. That could be nice. So really all I'm doing here is just like mixing blocks, you know, it's like just combining different blocks, mixing it up, making it look cool. And then I'll probably just like start doing this, but then I'll, it's very likely that I'll just end up kind of changing how I have the path laid out. But I think just starting like this is nice. I'm really liking this just as our like starting place. It looks cool. It looks nice. It looks so much better. Just like the texture is already looking better. And then once we line the edges with the leaves and the mud bricks and lanterns, oh, it's gonna look so much better. And this is what makes it a very just like canvas type of a game, right? Like I get to make this look as pretty as I want. And yeah, it's I love it. I think when I started thinking of Minecraft as like a a blank canvas that I get to like decorate and choose like what the the design is. I just started like enjoying it more because I'm like, yeah, it is like a canvas. I get to draw whatever I want in this game. I get to build whatever I want and make something look really pretty and something that like others will also enjoy seeing and trying to build themselves and can kind of just like help people get inspired, I can get inspired by others. Like, when you think about it in those terms, like, it really makes the game feel more like an art, you know? <laughs> Which it's kind of funny to be like, yeah, Minecraft's an art. But if you think about it, like, you get inspiration from people, it helps you build. People get inspired by what you've built, and we're all just, you know, making cool things together. It's very fun. I enjoy it. And honestly, just like randomly placing these blocks is kind of fun too, because it's going to look good either way, in my opinion. But we just slowly get to see it transform. I just need to make sure I don't put concrete powder like down here, otherwise it's just going to fall because of gravity. I'm probably going to need to do a lot more collecting up of resources, not going to lie. But we'll see how it goes. Not exactly sure. So if I do blocks like right here, then I can put a concrete powder. And let's do some more concrete right here. We'll mix in some coarse dirt, some regular dirt. Probably gonna need to sleep here pretty soon, just so I don't have the bad guys coming out after me. We'll go like so. 
maybe if I start getting lanterns out here, I could actually start just like hanging out outside at night more. <gasps> but the moon is really pretty. I love these shaders and how they just like make the moon look so cool. I think that's like super fun just to see what that does. Okay, we'll add some like so. All right, I'm starting to get paranoid that we're going to have some unwanted guests arrive. So I'm going to quickly go sleep, but I'm liking how this is looking so far. I'm probably going to move the bed where the sniffers are out here, honestly. It'll probably be a lot easier for me to just have the bed out here. Any steeds for me? <gasps> thank you. Oh, and thank you. See, I'm just hanging around here and I'm like finding all these seeds, but I'm... Oh, they had two. Oh my gosh. I'm just gonna... I could breed you guys up, but I'm just going to only... <laughs> Do you want my bed? Is this what you're going for? Okay. I'm gonna just take this outside. We'll sleep, like, right here. I'm a little bit nervous to go outside if there are mobs spawning, but if I can just sleep off the night now, then I can bring... Oops, I went the wrong way. Then I can bring the bed out here and hopefully... Okay. No bad ones, and we'll just leave this right here and mark our spawn, and then we can keep working without me being paranoid. We're gonna get hurt by those pillagers. Oh my gosh, he, they're still there. That is kind of funny. He's just like stuck on top of the <laughs> fence there a little bit. So now if I go like this, we can like line some of these, right? Like, I think it looks cool. And I am kind of blocking some of the... the like dirt and like different moss that I did have out. But I think even just adding this a little bit looks so much better. And I guess I will need to start having my silk touch pickaxe out. I don't need silk touch for this, but. Ooh, that's the other thing. I do kind of like the idea of like some path blocks in here, but I'm not sold on it yet. So we'll just leave that as regular blocks for now. But it could be nice. We'll just keep it as is for now. But I think having the mud bricks mixed on the sides is going to look so good. And then we can put like lanterns. So we can go like so. Put a lantern. And it'll just like help edge it in. Like already, just that alone makes it look so much better. And we're going to add tons of little details. And I'm so excited. It's just really cool to just see what this is going to turn into. I love it. Very fun. And let's see. We'll add... So I'm trying to think, because we have different ways that we're walking up this path. So we're going to come this way. So if I put one right here, I feel like let's move that one. Because if I come up right here, then I can kind of like stair step my way up. And if I'm coming from here, this is almost like in the way a bit now, right? Like this almost needs to be lowered. Just a bit, just a tad. Because then it allows us to stair step if we go like so. And then if we do this, we can put a lantern right here. Cause then we kind of can like stair step our way up. Cause right now we don't have like steps. We're just kind of hopping. But this could be just nice to like stair step our way. And I feel like it'll help blend in the area a bit better. And then just to like show you guys like what I'm going to use with the like leaves and flowers. If we just like have these kind of like here a little bit bushy, you know, it can kind of like come over these spots here. But this is the idea that I have. We're kind of going to like blend the different flowers and leaves in together. Let's make this one a flowering one. Because then it kind of just starts to look really cool when you come up this way. Right? So this is just going to look so pretty. 
Just having little decorative flowers just along the edge. I think it'll look really pretty. So that is what it will look like. And I think this is so pretty. Like this is the idea that I have. So we're gonna be doing this the whole way up, which will take us a bit, but it's gonna look so, so good. But for now, we're not doing anything with the leaves. So we'll leave those in there and we don't need that. So we're just gonna grab some more of the breaks. Can I like combine these? Okay, I guess we're just doing it this way. And then we'll add these guys in again. I feel like I want more of the slabs than I do the full blocks for the mud bricks. And then I feel like occasionally if we just like slip in like some of these, like that also looks really nice to me. You know, just some of the packed mud. Like it does have a different color palette than our dirt does. So I don't want it to like become like a full on new color in the middle of it, but I want it to kind of just like be on the edges. I feel like the edges is where it looks like it's really nice and like blends well. So if we just go like so. Yeah, see if it's just around some of the mud bricks, I feel like it looks really nice. So that's kind of the vibes we're gonna go for. So we'll just do a little bit of that but we're mostly just gonna stick with our coarse dirt, our regular dirt, and our moss. So we'll just keep on working on this. And then I think I wanted to have this like stay kind of the same level. So we are going to just like have this stay on this level. So this is kind of a little bit too low. So we're gonna kind of just like go over top this because this is the level we're gonna keep things at. So we'll add some moss. So this just like helps me remember like we're keeping it at this level. I do like that because we don't have like grass nearby. Like I need to take this out. We're not gonna have to deal with our dirt turning. I think that's like the favorite thing. <laughs> That is like a cool feature about not having the coarse dirt change, not having the rooted dirt change. It just like stays where you've left it, which is really cool. Doesn't change colors, doesn't become grass, just stays what you need it to stay. All right, and then let's do some of this. Some regular dirt. Get some rooted dirt in here. I'm nervous to like know when I'm gonna like run out of these resources and just like have to go back out, you know? Hopefully not soon though. of all of the grasses don't need any of that I like the sound that rooted dirt makes like placing it even just sounds super cool to me like the sounds of the minecraft blocks is also something I think Mojang did so good at it just looks and sounds so cool I'm curious, what are some of your favorite like block noises in the game? Because I feel like there's so many cool sounds that Minecraft did a good job at creating in the game. But I'm curious, what are some of your guys' favorites? So feel free to comment below here and let me know what you enjoy about sounds in the game. Because I feel like sometimes Minecraft is just like, it feels like it's just like straight ASMR. Like the sounds that they have are just so good. 
So it's always fun to be like hearing what people think are like the best block sounds to hear in the game. We also need to uh, terraform <laughs> this whole edge here, but I'm gonna do that like once the path is like done and figured out because I might cut back some of this again. So we'll just kind of like see what we end up with. But I think this is looking so good so far. We do need to mix in a lot more of the, our uh, concrete powder. So we'll add in some of that. Okay, so we do have quite a bit of it over here. So we'll mix some of it in. So we'll do a little bit over here. Even like picking up brooded dirt. It sounds so pretty. Such a cool sound. Oh, yeah, that's what I was concerned about. <laughs> and I did it again. Nice. Let's put a normal block down. There we go. Okay. And a normal block. Oh. Hey, a free lead. What do you got? I have access to uh, a coral field now, so I don't really need anything you have. But you already gave me a lead. Do you want to give me that one? No? Okay, fine. Take your invisibility potion. I see how it is. Oh, this is going to look so good, guys. I'm so excited. I love how it's turning out so far. Okay. And we continue. And hopefully we get the other lead. I'm not going to try to steal right now. But we'll see if we just end up getting it. Huh? <laughs> the villager noises is another thing I think is super funny. Oh, this is going to look so good when we're done, guys. I love this. Oh. And we get some rainy vibes. Let me turn up our weather. There we go. Okay. Now we can enjoy some cozy, long play, rainy vibes while we finish this. Also, I'm so glad that rain does not change my concrete powder into concrete. Can you imagine how much more difficult it would be to try to like keep concrete powder dry for like using it in your builds? I was literally just thinking like, oh no, what if the concrete powder gets wet and turns to like the dark brown concrete color that doesn't exactly look like dirt? But you know, it doesn't, which is great because that would be very sad. <laughs> It would also, like, actually make sense with the game. So, like, if it did that, like, it would be like, okay, Minecraft, like, you you were accurate. You know, you did the right thing. I just don't like it for my build, but th that is accurate. So I'm glad that it doesn't. Because <laughs> that would be kind of frustrating, honestly. Just working on a build, trying so hard, and it just doesn't work. Let's put a, a torch. We'll put some torches here just for now, just so I don't like have anything like spawning. Just to make sure everything's safe as we are going around here. Also, they're still in the water. My goodness. He is clearly locked onto me. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm gonna just say he is locked onto me and I'm not gonna go over there. I don't think he's the, like, captain, so even if I did go over there, I wouldn't have to be, like, as concerned about dealing with getting bad omen or anything like that. But it's still not exactly something, like, I want to deal with right now. I'm just trying to relax. I thought I just heard a zombie. I got a little spooked for a second. I was like, excuse me, I did not want you here. No, thank you. Um, let's do something like this. And some regular dirt. Oh, I was hearing the llama sounds. That's what I was hearing. I was like, what am I hearing? Okay. Very good. 
We're gonna change this, actually. I don't want any of this being moss. Or I don't- I want it to be moss, I don't want it to be grass. <laughs> I was gonna say, I definitely want it to be moss. But see, if we just like had this whole mountainside be this green moss color, this would look so much better. We still want a lead, by the way. I'm just waiting until you're not on a lead and I know I can grab it from you guys, but we're gonna just ignore that for now. Looks like I need more of my coarse dirt. Put away all these extras that I don't need right now. Don't need the pot soul. Okay, so now I have all of my coarse dirt in my inventory. So if we need to make more, we can make more because we have dirt left over. So like we're still in a good spot. I'm gonna grab all of this. And then we'll just keep going. Adding some more in here. Here we go. Perfect. Okay, add more coarse dirt on the edges here. And we'll do some rooted dirt, put coarse dirt right here. And then, where's the regular dirt? There we go. We've still got a lot of regular dirt, so that's great. I just need to make sure that it doesn't turn green from the grass while I'm waiting to put more blocks down over it. That's the one thing I don't want to have happen. And rooted dirt, gotta grab more of that. Okay, perfect. All right, hopefully we have more rooted dirt. Otherwise, I majorly underestimated. Okay, we've got two stacks, so we're, we're still going. We're still doing good, which is good. <laughs> And I feel like I just like the idea of kind of placing these as like an edge so I can kind of see what I would do. Like one needs to go here. It's really cool that the wandering traders can like turn invisible. Like I do think that's really cool. When I first noticed them using the milk bucket to then become like uninvisible once it's like daylight, I thought that was just such a cool little addition that they added where like they take invisibility so like no one gets them at night. They're just trying to survive, you know, make their life as a trader work for them. And I thought that was cool. Ooh, yep, you know, I would turn invisible too if there was a thunderstorm. But we're gonna take a little snooze, and I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Ah, <sighs> okay. And I think the rain will clear up. Yeah, there we go. Ah, and a beautiful sunrise in the jungle i really love seeing this area from like these types of more like far away views it's just coming along so wonderfully and i'm really happy with it all right placing these down so that i can get some powdered concrete if i need it we'll go like so and then rooted dirt we'll add in here And some regular dirt. And 
And then I think what I want to use here for like the step up is actually some jungle slabs because we get a lot of jungle wood just from, you know, literally living in the jungle. And I think that will complement the like mud brick and these like warm tones that we have going on. I decided I don't like this being there, so I'm gonna put that there instead. But I think it will look really nice, so that's kind of what I'm thinking we'll use when we create some stairs for this area. And this is gonna curve, so I'm just gonna make this come out more here. And then we'll add some of this. We'll add some regular dirt in here as well. And then we'll go like so. And we are bringing this up. So, let me just see this. Let's try... Ooh. There's probably gonna have a- we're probably gonna have a lot of, like, animals and mobs spawning underneath here, which will be interesting, but we'll see how that goes. Um, so as far as this curving up, I feel like this is probably where I want that to curve. Yeah, I feel like that is a good point. So we'll just do this. And then we'll make it curve out like so. Using our regular dirt as well. Looking good. We gotta get some of our concrete powder as well in here. And where do I wanna put this one? We'll just put the two. I think that'll be fine. And then along this edge, this I'm also gonna make like coarse dirt or some concrete powder, just kind of mix it up. But I just don't want to have grass on the edge. I think it'll just look better without it, honestly. Huh? <laughs> the little wandering trader sounds are just so funny to me. Huh? What? Is that so? No way. <laughs> just like talking to them like you're having a conversation. <gasps> she said what? No way, I can't believe they would do that. <laughs> Actually, let's go like so, and then like so. I'm liking it so far, it's coming along good. Have some jungle slabs to step up here, it'll make it even better. I'm just gonna fill the holes so it makes it easier to add in the concrete powder which we'll do in this corner here. Ooh, too much uh, red dirt by each other, so we'll go like so. Then we can add in some rooted dirt. And then we'll add in some regular dirt, but I don't want it to be too close to the grass. And then we'll put this to kind of prevent all of the grass from getting to our I just want like dirt blocks. So we gotta make sure like that stays. Beautiful. Oh, I love this. It's gonna look so lovely when it's all done. And then we'll go like so. I want it to curve well because then when we add all the like leaves and stuff, it'll just look way better if it curves nicely. Oh, that's a bunch of melons. We still need to make a like pumpkin and melon farm as well in this world. I feel like since I don't have yet one of the 
farmers that would like trade for those things. I haven't felt as strong of a need to make one, but at the same time, like, it would just be nice to, you know, have some golden carrots to be eating. Um, I'm literally living off of like, well, right now, carrots, and I was living off of like bread or like pork chops randomly from like being in the nether, so just like very random things. And it'll just be nice to, you know, have some consistency, have the high saturation, so that's definitely something that I want to like add into our world, but I feel like I'm just, you know, taking it slow, enjoying the pace, like I can go however fast I want to, and I'm just happy with the progress that we're making in this world and it's been great all right i want to add some more gravel or, or some more uh concrete powder right here okay i'm liking it so far did you drop your second lead yet i don't want to like mess with them right now like i could just you know put them in a boat i could just kill them but i don't really feel like doing that you know we'll just we'll just let them enjoy life you know not be threatened not have concerns about a top predator such as myself being in the area you know also are those pills yep they're literally still there there's still two of them <laughs> just hanging out that guy's still hopping in the water and he's just hanging as well it's just kind of funny. <laughs> All right. Let's scoop some of this up. I think this is going to look so good. I'm already, like, so happy. So let's just do a free cam out. Like, look how good this is going to be. And especially, like, this little section. Uh, <sighs> It will take me a while to get all the way here, but this is actually, like, we're maybe, like, over two-thirds. Like, we're not halfway. I feel like halfway is, like, right here, right? And then I do need to fix this box. The thing that I'm building up here is going to be about this wide, a little bit smaller, but I need to uh, terraform these sides. But we're just going to start here for now. Just keep working on our little project, you know, minding our little business, doing our thing. I'm concerned. Okay, so we don't have a lot of coarse dirt left. So we literally have a stack left. So we're definitely gonna go looking for more gravel and combine that. But for now, we're okay. Rooted dirt, I'm still good on that, which is helpful. Okay. And then uh, let's put some normal dirt in here. And then we'll go like so. There we go. More rooted dirt. And since I'm going to be putting a slab here, I think I want to, like, push these back more. So, like, have these be two, and then with the slabs being here, you know, like, I don't want it to feel like there's not a lot of room. I want there to be, like, two of these, so it's kind of like a, oh, a gradual. <laughs> All right, just can make a big spine. Uh, if that makes sense. So if we just go like so. And then I want to have some more concrete powder. Oh, this is, uh, I don't want to use my coarse dirt, so we're going to pick it up again. The coarse dirt is special. Gotta save it. Save it. I wanted to use regular dirt for that project right here. Because if I go like so, then I can get more of the brown concrete here. And I think it looks way better. Just do a little bit here. Look 
looking good. I'm liking it. We'll add more rooted dirt. I like the the lighter colors that the rooted dirt adds. It's just lovely. Okay, but we're gonna sleep. I'm gonna put some torches around just to keep it a little bit better lit. We also need to move our bed with us. <laughs> I'm gonna take a sip of my coffee. Okay, move our bed with us. Bring it a little bit closer since we're making progress on this. And we'll put it right here. And also, we need to make sure we set our spawn every time we're doing this. Okay, so if I have like slabs here, it walks up. There's. Where's the spider? Hello, dude. Hi. So I want to have two blocks and a step. I think that'll look nice. This is a little too much. So we'll probably go like so. Hey dude, how's it going? Is that so? You're just chilling? I'm glad during... Why are you attacking me? It is daylight, you goon. I don't appreciate that. No, thank you. Rude. I thought they didn't attack me during the day, but, um, you know. I guess he just woke up and chose chaos today. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. And I do think I am, unfortunately, gonna like the look of this mountain being green. But, ugh, that just looks so bad. But, you know, trust the process. That's what they say. You gotta trust the process. And this is definitely one of those moments. For sure. Okay. So from here, we put some steps, some steps... And we'll do course dirt. We'll do normal and do some of that. Go like so. Get rid of these guys. I'm gonna have so many mobs just like underneath these little dirt mounds that I'm making. I'm a little bit concerned. It's fine though. Okay. I think that having the stairs even with just like one block isn't too bad actually so we're just gonna oh my gosh Ki no 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 did he see me or was there a different one hi dude oh oh my goodness there were so many no 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 oh i see they were literally just all coming okay yeah don't like that Oh, that was scary. I do need gunpowder, though, so I probably should have used my looting, but I'm not risking it when there's that many uh, trying to run after me. All right, we're using regular dirt here just because we're going to have a lot of just, like, slabs covering the stuff. Um, and then we'll put another one there. Then we'll clean this up. I can't believe there was that many creepers right there. Literally right after I was saying, like, I'm going to have so many mobs spawning underneath stuff. Yep. Just as I suspected. Very scary. Not a fan of that. Alright. At least they didn't climb up the vines and just, like, come say hello. Do you know how sad that would be if I just... My new things, my new path that I'm creating just got blown, blown up. Would not like that at all. That would be very sad, actually. I would be disappointed in those creepers and their, their choices for the day. Okay, this is looking good. We're just going to cover this. I don't want any creepers popping out of little, like, side holes that I accidentally created. <laughs> the last thing I want. Okay, so this is feeling good. I'm liking it. I might like try to like curve this a little bit more. There we go. 
so then this is where we're gonna have this. And the slabs are gonna be here, so we're just using normal dirt here. And then we can put our fancy stuff here. But let's do some normal dirt so I can use some of the concrete powder. Like so. And then we'll use some rooted. Or this is just coarse, what am I saying? Saying all the wrong things. I'm just like so paranoid there's like creepers below me now and just like I'm just waiting. <laughs> Waiting for them to come for me. Okay. I'm liking it. It's looking good. Beautiful. Alright, and then this is where we're gonna have the next bit of slabs, so we don't actually need to have rooted dirt here. Ooh. Scary. And then, go like so. This can be anything we want it to be. And then this will be regular dirt. It feels like really helpful to just like say out loud what goes where. I feel like I can just work quicker knowing like what blocks should go where, making sure that I don't use too much of my like special variants like i don't want to cover up a bunch of rooted dirt with things right like i want to save that and then slabs would go here next set of stairs and stuff goes right there and this starts to like curve out a little bit so you can kind of see the path's gonna like wind this way but I'm still probably going to keep this as like the edge. So I just need to like redo this kind of area. Because I want this to still be the edge. Because this is still going to be a very wide space. So if this curves, I'm, I'm going to like this a lot. So we'll just keep this as like, oops, where everything will curve to. And then we can kind of... Start to angle it a little bit more. So, if this is kind of the edge, I'm liking that. I think it's good. These are kind of like marking out where the edge is gonna be. Also, I still need to move this guy. I found him just chilling on top of the mountain. No clue whatsoever how he, they managed to get up here, but you know, they're here. They're here. <laughs> Also, I have a bunch of, like, blocks and things here if I need to, like, craft anything. But they also gave us a pitcher pod, so that was nice of them. I'm just going to get rid of some of these extras here. Since I don't need them. Okay, perfect. We're going to continue down here, fixing, ooh, up our path. But it's just nice to kind of, like, see the direction we're going. See where things are going to end up. I really need golden carrots. The saturation is not too great on these, but you know, it's okay. We will get that eventually. Okay, I'm trying to figure out where my next labs would go. So I think we would go like right here. So we walk up here, labs go right here, so then these are blocks we would change and get to see. It's right here. If this is the edge... Can go like so. There we go. So I don't want this to be too much, so we might have to push this back a little bit. And then just use normal blocks here. This might be where it gets interesting. I need to like push some of this back so it's not just like immediately stepping up. 
So we're gonna move some of these back, I feel like. Oops. Normal dirt, use normal dirt. So if this is the edge, in there. Let's do our panda. Gotta keep an eye on that. So we're going to have a row here of just normal dirt. So this is where slabs will go. If we hop up one block, there'll be more slabs, so they will see these. But if we just move this back a little bit, I think I'm gonna like that more. And then... How far can I, like, move this? So, I think putting slabs right here will be good. We could honestly put slabs right here. I feel like that's a little bit better. We are officially out of our little, uh, horse dirt, unfortunately. So, if we put some more slabs here, pull these guys back. There we go. This needs to get set back a little bit more. And I'm gonna put some lights out here. Just because I don't want any creepers or anything like coming out while I'm doing this. I'm always just a little bit nervous for that after seeing like two creepers right there. Just hello. How's it going? <laughs> Didn't want you there. Here you are. Oh, and look at our nice little view. I love that. Oh, it looks so good. Literally, I'm so happy with how this bridge turned out. I love looking at it. It's so nice. And now I'm just paranoid. I'm hearing just like sounds of creepers. Okay. I'm liking this. Hi, dude. You're still there. Good to see you again. <laughs> All right. So we have gravel and we've got regular dirt. I want to get a regular shovel real quick because I just like having normal dirt and I don't want to keep having just silk touch to pick up all the grass blocks. I would like to just have a normal shovel. So we have 62 levels. So let's actually go enchant a little shovel real quick and hopefully not get silk touch. I'm gonna close that. All right, so I've got diamonds. So we just need one diamond. We need some sticks, so let's grab some wood here, make a stick, make a, a shovel. I'm gonna put the podzel back in here because I don't need that. Move our silk touch, pick little shovel, bring this all the way up, and then let's put this in. Unbreaking three. Efficiency 4 and Fortune 3. Actually, having a Fortune Shovel will be great for, like, clay and stuff. Ooh, I'll actually gladly take that. And I'm going to name it so I can tell them apart. So, usually with my tools, I have the little money pick and, just, like, the, the little silk touch pick. So, this is our Fortune pick. So, we're just going to name this little one the little money pick just because we get more from it and it's called fortune so fortune three and unbreaking three and i want to go grab mending because otherwise that's not gonna be good um but let's grab some books where would i put books okay perfect so uh, we don't have that many emeralds actually no we have enough i think i think it's just 12 i'm gonna put my lapis back then we're gonna go say hello to the villagers that are in our iron farm and then i will be happy having this have mending so we can mend it up as we need it i was just realizing that maybe these uh pillagers hadn't despawned but it looks like they finally did which is perfect but this bridge is definitely one of the my favorite things i just love how this area is coming together like it's just so pretty that, not so pretty, but we'll, we'll fix that, you know? Trust the process, like I said. We always trust the process. <laughs> All right, let's go into our iron farm because the villagers that I'm using for the iron farm are actually villagers that I use regularly when I need to get books and stuff, so always fun. 
Um, mending for 12. Thank you, my friend. Sorry about always leaving you down here. And then we'll go put our emeralds and books back. I also need to infect those villagers so that I can get better book prices. But because they're in the farm, it's a little bit trickier. I just need to get a secondary zombie to get them, you know? So I probably, at that point, just because they're already down in their little box, I probably just need to kind of create like a spawn, a spawning room in a way, you know, just to like make them spawn. Okay, so this is fortune, add mending for two. Sweet, okay, perfect. I'm glad we have that now. Um, I'm gonna see about more sand. I think I had more sand somewhere. I just don't remember. Or maybe I had none. Nope, I had more. Okay, we're gonna bring this sand over. I don't think I had any more gravel. Oh no, I did have some gravel. Okay, that's great. Perfect. Because now I can make more course dirt once we get more. Um, did I have any dirt in here? I feel like I grabbed all the dirt in our storage room. Also, this is my uh, very cute bridge in comparison. <laughs> I just needed something because I didn't want to keep hopping in the water. I'm just going to check. I'm pretty sure there was nothing in here. Yeah, it was literally just Podzol, so that's kind of what I assumed. And I didn't put anything else in these guys. Okay, sweet. Just wanted to check. Always worth checking. But we will have to go and collect more dirt because I need more coarse dirt. So we're gonna just go off somewhere and collect some, but I'm quickly gonna harvest my sugar cane. They're not under there still, right? Okay. I was like, am I about to get like hit in the back? Sweet. All of our sugar cane. I also need to make a sugarcane and gunpowder farm for when we have wings and need the rockets. So lots of things to make in this world and I'm excited. But let's just put all of the, the sugarcane that we grabbed away. Actually, I kind of want to like keep expanding and getting more sugarcane. So we'll just uh, go like so, like so. Oh, it does grow on Podzol. I didn't know if that was a thing. That's nice. Hi, squid. Oh, I don't need too tall. No, thank you. It's also interesting how the sugar cane changes colors, like depending on the biome. Because if you look here, this is right where we're at river. And now we are in jungle and the like vibrancy of the sugar cane is so interesting. I do like that it like changes though. It's like a good reminder kind of to just know like what biome you're in. See it like changes again. Whoa. What? Since when can you do that? What? I didn't know that was a thing. I'm just gonna leave those there. We're gonna see if they actually grow. That's very interesting. What? I am just shook by this. What on earth? That's so cool. That's so interesting. I didn't know. Wow, okay. Learned uh, something new. Very interesting indeed. Okay. We're gonna go across this way and collect up more dirt because I definitely want to use more coarse dirt. I just underestimated how much and we're definitely gonna run out of rooted dirt too. So we're gonna have to go for another little adventure to find more. So we're probably gonna go back down and follow that little uh, azalea tree. That's probably what we're gonna have to do. But we're gonna go across here and I think think I like the idea of just like taking uh, from these areas and because I don't have so touch on this one hopefully I'll just be able to grab even the podzol 
in just regular dirt form. I also need to eat, so we're gonna eat quick. I also get a little bit nervous coming over here because I don't really explore this area or have it lit up. So there's definitely a potential for more mobs. Then another trick that I'll use if I want to fill my inventory up with just dirt is I just fill up all of the spaces that I have and then nothing else can go in my inventory except for the one block that I like filled my inventory with. So it's an easy way to filter out other blocks from entering your inventory so that you just pick up what you want. So I do this pretty often. So if you're ever like, man, I wish I could just like filter and only pick up specific things like I'm picking up all of the dirt and none of the other things and I've almost you know I'm getting like half stacks in each of them so like we're picking up a lot of it but it's the easy way to do it and just get exactly the blocks you want and nothing that you don't want I'm also very glad there's like no creepers or like skeletons around here yet which is also helpful so we're just gonna like, grab these guys. There we go. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'll just see how much I have left to pick up. So we have all of the stacks of dirt and now we can just make a bunch of coarse dirt, which is awesome. So now we have a bunch of coarse dirt. We've got extra dirt. We can make more of the concrete if we need it but for now oh i'm gonna start picking up random things okay keep my inventory full for now we're just gonna go back because it's getting dark but i'm definitely probably gonna come back here and i just need to remember the way yes okay it's right here and not fall off here we go don't fall off Always a little bit spooky, like going over this cavern, but it's also kind of like cool. And then we just run our way back. And we take a little snooze. I love how this place looks at night as well. Like it's just so pretty how it just has the like subtle glow of the lanterns, the glow berries and the little torches. I just it's so fun. It's really fun as you like build up your area to see it come together, you know, like it's just so fun to see what you can end up building and how it kind of like slowly transforms over time. I really enjoy that aspect. All right, we're going to put things away once we sleep. We're going to go run over here and sleep quickly. Hopefully nothing bad is nearby. I think we're safe. There's a zombie, but I don't think it'll interrupt my sleep, and I don't think he can get up. Hi, dude. Actually, I don't want you going in the water, I just want you to stay. Are you gonna try to, like, go up? Yeah, you just died. Okay, let's go put away some of our extra blocks. This is coming along so nice, I love it! And with like the leaves and everything, it's just very simple, guys. Like it's a simple, oh, hi oh wow, you're a fancy boy. Look at you. How cute. Ooh, I wanna see what we get. Let's see what items I get from you. Unbreaking three and proc one, interesting. Good thing I don't need any of you. Okay, let's put the sand away as well. And we'll just add you in here. All 
right? I almost want to make like a secondary chest to just put all the other random stuff. Like I don't need these grass blocks here anymore. Like I'm not gonna use grass blocks or the dirt or the clay or these other random things. So I kind of want to just like have a separate little uh, thing, a separate little chest system for the ones I'm not really gonna use as much. So we'll just maybe put those right here. There we go. And then the clay and the dirt. Oh, I still have the sand out there. So now everything that I should have left is going to be things I actually want in here, which is great. Yeah, because we're going to use this for more lanterns and I think, yeah, everything else. So those are the only things that I want to be moved. The brown conch. The brown dye we'll keep in here as well. So now we have our rooted dirt, regular coarse dirt. We're running out of our concrete powder. Okay, so maybe we go and get more concrete powder and then we can combine that with all of the sand that we have. We have so much sand, I'm actually kind of surprised. And then we'll just add a little bit more moss. We have that full stack and we ran out of our slabs, so let's put more of those in our inventory, and then we keep those guys. We're good on dirt, so I can't remember where I put the doors. Did I put them, like, away away? Because we don't have that much brown concrete left, but let's just uh, keep going until we can't. Gotta just keep going with it. But I'm liking how this is looking. If we used... Oh, we also need to get jungle. So the next time we're going to get... I, I heard a zombie. I don't see the zombie. <laughs> I also want to make sure that, like, none of the bad guys can, like, kind of get up on this side. So I am okay with this being a little bit more, like, arched and... Hopefully that means no one's gonna like try to get to us, but we're gonna have slabs here. We'll put a little guy there. Slabs will be there. And then this starts to curve. So we'll go out a little bit like so. I'm really glad I'm picking up normal dirt because the normal dirt is what I needed for other things. So then this will be seen and needs to get changed over. There we go. Perfect. And then uh, this corner needs to change as well. Mm, I can hear you wherever you are. I'm so paranoid. I'm like gonna hear creeper noises after that experience. Oh, that was so scary. <laughs> I feel like the zombies over here. I feel like you're just hanging somewhere, aren't you? But I'm, you know, I don't need to find out. I don't need to find the zombie, it's fine. Also, we're taking our torch. Well, now we're taking our torch, okay. So these will be uh, stairs going up. This will kind of be like a flat curve. We actually might just like expand this out like right here and then these would be slabs so these will stay there and then we can go like so okay because then the stairs will go like here And we'll get rid of you the weird way. So this will curve out for us, which will help. And then if this is gonna be stairs, we'll put slabs, maybe like one back. So then we'll have this be our little stair. So these will be seen. So, we'll put some concrete powder in here. Why not? Uh, actually, this would not be seen. And then these will be seen, so let's... 
Hi, dude. Oh, I didn't even need to hurt you. Also, where did you get up? Leaves? No, thank you. You're gonna make it easier for the bads to get to me? I'm not interested. Okay. And then we'll go like so. I'm liking it. And this needs to get pushed back a little bit. Just by like one. So we'll go like so. So this will be the curve. Because then if this is a curve, then we can also have these be seen. So we can do some oh, alright, there's there's the hat. So we'll just keep doing everything with the rooted and coarse dirt, and then as we kind of like figure out where we want to add in the texture for everything else, we'll just add in more of the the concrete powder when we go back to get more of it. And then we've got normal dirt in here. And so then if we're kind of trying to like arc this and like turn it, these would be slabs. I kind of want to like arc this like so. so. These would be normal. So then we're like arcing this. So like this. And then these would be seen. These would be slabs. These ones would be seen. These are slabs. We can kind of like arc this a little bit again. Lots of trial and error. So there's nothing like specific really of what I'm doing. I'm just trying to decide what makes the most sense. So then this gets arced. These get seen. Hmm, this one goes back. Then these would be your slabs that lead you up then you'd have slabs being right here. I'm actually just gonna use path blocks to help me like visualize where the path blocks are gonna go. I feel like that's actually very helpful. And that just didn't need to be there. Because we're gonna have slabs. Okay, good. Yeah, so slabs, slabs, slabs. Slabs here as well. These would be seen. So we got a little bit of that. We got some more slabs. And then I want to arc this again. We're trying to kind of like curve the staircase up a bit. But let's go and sleep again. I get a little bit nervous. And I get to lick. Oh, okay. I was going to say, I can't sleep. Taking some sips of my coffee. All right. And we continue on. I feel like this is going good. I feel like using path blocks to help me like mark out where the slabs are gonna go is actually like super helpful. It's helping me like see the feel of how this is going to work and like turn and I'm I'm excited about it so far. I think it's looking really nice. I think I wanted to keep that and I accidentally changed it. Okay. And then we'll put slabs here as well. 
these will be seen, so we'll remove these. And we only have one little concrete guy left, but we'll just put a can a, a candle. I keep calling them candles every once in a while, and I'm like, that is not what they are. Red, just nope. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> Try again. This is my last bits of rooted dirt. Oh, the pain. The absolute pain and tragedy. We have to go get more. Okay, these will be thin, so we'll get rid of these. Okay, and then I'm good with this kind of being like where the edge is. We've got regular dirt, so we can kind of like trim this some more. I don't like that, we like this better. So we have two and then we'll have little slabs here. right here and then we'll curve this out more perfect okay I'm liking it I'm liking it and we'll just put some little slabs down on the sides here and then this is just gonna be like a one up type of a thing which is fine I'm good with that and again Weird methods, but it works. Okay. And then we go up. You can hear the sniffer over there. Sniffers make such like a funny noise. They just seem like they're whiny. <laughs> but they are cute. Cute and whiny. That's kind of what it seems like. They, uh, they have some tendencies. Alright, so then we cover that up. I'm going to curve this in and bring this out some. And then if we need to grab anything from in here, we just know it's like right there. And then we can curve this. Because I need to like start fixing this because this is like one and it doesn't really work. So we've got to expand that. So then we'll curve this. There we go, that will be the edge. Bring this out. Now for this, I th think I wanna curve this out like so. And we'll just like completely flatten this out here. This is where it becomes more of like a sharp turn just cause I need to figure out how to like push out the rest of these guys. So it might honestly be a little bit sharper of a turn, which is fine. So we'll go like so. And then, make it kind of a sharp curve. I wanna make sure it's not just like too sharp. So this is slabs would go here. Okay, I'm liking this. This would be the part that like, I wanna make a nice staircase leading up to the build that's going to be here. So I wanna make sure this looks good. And keep other little bad things from trying to get to me here. Okay, so if there's, let's do like slabs here because this is becoming the sharp turn, right? So we go up here, up here. We can go up here. 
I'm going to get the sniffer out. Don't don't you worry. <laughs> okay, and then the slab goes here. This lets me come up right here. We're going to keep this the same. Lab jump. And then we can go like so. So it's kind of kind of curving around on the outside edge of this, which is okay with me. We just need to make it work and probably get rid of a lot of this bamboo here. But I feel like we also just need to get more of our blocks to keep building. This might change. Okay, so then we hop up here. We could actually have a slab running right here. That would work. You can kind of see him phasing through. Oh yeah, I left the bed up here too. I forgot about that. And then... I think what makes the most sense for how I'm going to build this out is if I do kind of like move it back. So if this is going to be a slab, so if we'll have a slab, we'll hop up here. We can have another slab like right here. Right, and then we can hop up here. Yeah, because that works well. Yep. And then we're just going to have this kind of swerve around. I'm going to get my sword since it works better. And we're gonna have to terraform this side of things as well, since we're moving this around like so. We'll just kind of create a giant platform that allows us to go a little bit further out with everything. Oh, you escaped, you goon! You're supposed to stay in there! Do you have any torch flowers I can, like, lead you back in here with? No? Nothing? Okay. I'd prefer if you'd come back in here, though. Oh, yep. Go on. Yep. Go back. Shoot. Go back in there. I just need to keep you trapped a little bit longer. I'm sorry. Boy, you can, like, phase through them. Their toes look so silly. I'm sorry, I know you don't like it. I just need you to stay here, okay? I'll give you a torch. He's like, hmm, a torch, that's nothing. I just want a normal area. You're taking big snippies, aren't you? Okay. So this curving, I also don't like the fact that there's a lava in there. The lava scares me a little bit. All right, eat some food. Okay, so now that we've got this going on, this is just helping me visualize some more. So we can have this, and then we could have another slab right here. The sniff sounds are so aggressive. It's so funny to me, I can't get over it. I love it though, they're so cute. Because if we go like so, then we can go up, up, up. I like it. And now we can start sleeping in the bed that's right here, which is even better. I don't need to keep running down and around. Okay. Um. So this is going to curve, and then we'll get pretty flat. So the side entrance is going to be over here. But maybe... <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> You're phasing through the block. I kind of like the idea of having the front of the build facing over here just so that everyone can like see it, you know? But look at our area. I can't wait to build up here and look at the the little path is looking so nice, especially down over there. Oh, our area looks so good. I love this view. I'm really happy I decided to do the heart-shaped pond as well for our little axolotls. I think it's so cute. Big fan. But I think it's time to sleep. I also should probably light this up. I don't want anything 
spawning up here while I'm trying to sleep. Uh, that would be so stressful. Don't want it. And now I take more sips of my coffee. Alright. Now, let's keep working on this. Okay, so... <laughs> the sniffer <laughs> just came through. <laughs> I love that. So we come up here and around, and we're almost like at the same level as the build that's going to be here, which is great. Kind of just lets me know how much further we need to like curve this all. Okay. Oh, wow. We're like actually out of regular blocks. Pretty crazy. Okay. So this goes like this. And then we can fit, if this curves, we could curve this even more. If we like put some right here, we could curve this. We could have slab guys right there, right where that guy is. And then have just like regular blocks be right here. And then we're on the main level, so I like it. But we have enough coarse dirt, but we need to literally collect everything else. So brown concrete, rooted dirt. We're gonna get the jungle slabs because I wanna put the slabs in place, so we'll do that quick. <sighs> it's looking so good. We can add some leaves to this. Let's quickly add some leaves and lanterns. I feel like, you know, it's, it's all coming along so good, but just adding in some of the leaves will just look so pretty over here. Okay. So go like so. Actually, I want to have... Uh... Oh, there goes that. Lanterns on some of these top guys. We'll do a lantern there. This one will have a lantern. And this one will have a lantern. Lantern here. Lantern there. Okay, and now we can just put some of these guys in place. So we kind of know how the edges are going to look. We'll put one right here, actually. There we go. So then I can make a few more. And then on the inside here, where's the other one? Okay, so right there. So I'd say maybe one like right here. Yeah, they're kind of like across from each other. And as far as like where we're gonna put the lanterns, I'm trying to like space them out so we can have like good spacing as far as where we're gonna be putting lanterns. Honestly, right here is kind of where I want to put that one. And then uh, let's do one right here. Um, do one right there. One's right there. Let's do one right here. One right there. I have one more block. I'm liking how this is looking so far. I feel like putting this like right here will be good. Now we're going to grab jungle slabs. We're going to go and get more rooted dirt following that one tree again. But we're gonna check what we have in our inventory first. Once I finish the leaves, I feel like I'm just getting like mildly distracted very easily. There we go. Now we can pick these up when we need to. And then when I don't need to have any of the leaves on top of those with the lanterns, it'll all fit nicely. Put some up here. I'm liking it. 
It's so pretty. Okay, don't need this little guy. Just like, look at this. Just adding the leaves that look so good and it's just a natural path. Oh, I love this so much. I'm so happy with how this is turning out. Ah, <sighs> okay. And I would put a lantern there. So I, maybe I'll just put torches, honestly, down where I'm gonna be putting the next lantern. I feel like that makes a lot of sense. Put a lantern there. A lantern there. Yeah, I feel like a lantern here. Get rid of this. And then we'll get rid of this torch here because we're going to put a lantern here. And a lantern would go there. So let's grab these. Definitely a lantern here as we get higher up. There we go. Lanterns just on all of these, honestly, is just gonna look so pretty. And at night, we'll be able to see actually like how much more light we're going to need just to keep it safer. But I, I like the idea of just putting the little lights, the torches down where we're gonna put them. That's at least helpful for me to see. And then down. up again we'll move this guy we'll move the bed a little bit to the inside but let's like put one right over here up top because this is like the phase we're kind of like switching to is over here okay perfect and then let's do Yeah, we'll put the pinks at the bottom. Oops. There we go. And then we can put a slab there, but let's put some flowers up here. gonna remove these. Just adding these leaves. I'm just, I can't get over how much better this looks with just a few leaves. Like it doesn't even need to be a lot that you're adding, but just like leaves to the area makes it so good looking. I'm so happy with this right now. So, so happy. All right, so uh, let's do uh, these ones here. And then we'll go like so. Mm, yeah, let's put those, or no, let's do this, put a flowering one. Okay, and then let's go back down and do the inside all the way up. Oh my gosh, this is gonna look so good. I love it. All right, let's do a quick free cam and just see how it's looking. Oh wow, look at that. Oh, I love it. I just need to fix this. That's the one thing that just looks so scuffed. It's just a square on the top. Oh, but the path is looking so good. Oh, I love this. Oh my gosh. And even like from the side, it just looks really pretty. I'm going to like get more dirt and like kind of terraform this and like make it a little bit more of like a hill. 
so that doesn't look so strange but this is looking so so good so far i'm so happy literally it looks amazing okay i'm gonna grab more of the flowering ones because we do have more get a whole another stack beautiful all right and then we just finish out over here So, donate this. I don't like seeing Podzol at all. I actually really don't like seeing Podzol. <laughs> also, what are you? Why are you here? Sometimes the like tree stump guys that are left are just like, you're a very random, questionable little thing to have right there. All right, let's go up here. Bring my bow out just in case I need to. Nothing's gonna see me. Okay, now we take a nap. I like how we can still see our little bridge in our nether portal house. Okay. Swap these out, eat them carrots. And then we'll add some more leaves down here. Perfect. And the sun's coming out. Oh, what a good day. Hmm. I'm really just enjoying relaxing and completing this. I hope that you guys are also just enjoying a little long play, you know? We're hanging out, making cool things, just chilling. And I hope that you enjoy this uh, long play here. Just building up, making a cute little area for ourselves. I love it so much. Um, oh, I was going to put a light there. If I have them on top, I just need to remember to not remove them. Otherwise, it defeats the purpose of what I was like trying to do. It's just like showing off where I'm going to put everything. And this is where this, like, little stone edging is gonna go. So we'll move this. Put that, like, right there. Ooh, I heard a baby zombie somewhere, but I'm, I heard it die, so we're safe. Good things to keep in mind, though, you know, there's still little baddies, mini baddies out and about. This is, like, becoming safer, but it doesn't mean, like, I am safe, right? Like, there's still a lot of things that could come for me. All right, we're still doing good on our supplies for everything with the azaleas, which is good. I'm liking it. I just love azalea leaves, like the color of them. <laughs> Hi, dude. <laughs> the color of them is just so pretty to me. Like, it's such a nice, vibrant green color. Big fan. And then we'll move this over. Oh, are you whining a bit? Yes, you are. You're whining a bit, buddy, aren't you? 
probably tired of being in your little hole there. I do apologize for that. I just needed uh, a lead to bring you back and wanted to just work on this project first and foremost. Okay, this is looking so pretty. Oh, I love it. Just like, let's take another free cam view. Like through here. Ooh, it's so nice. I'm like loving this. This is gonna look so good when it's completed. I'm glad that I chose to do this. Glad the lava can't reach, because that would be a little bit of a bummer if the lava could reach. Thought I heard another wandering traitor, but it was the little sniffer guy. Him and hawing. Okay, so this is about as far up as I can go. So let's go grab some of the slabs. And then we need more rooted dirt, regular dirt. We're good on coarse dirt for a little bit but we also need more brown concrete powder. So we need to get gravel, jungle slabs. We need some rooted dirt, cause we are out. So let's put these guys back. They're just the random things, so you'll go over there. All right, so we've got these slabs, but I'm gonna go and grab a We've got regular dirt, so we're good there, but we need rooted dirt and the brown. So we need gravel jungle slabs, so we're gonna go grab that. Oh, I just love how this is coming along. I'm so happy. And from over here. Yeah, that's gonna look cool when it's done. Once it's like actually like lined and looking good, then it will be great. All right, so I have, I should have jungle in here. Three, okay. Guess we're gonna chop down a jungle tree. All right, so let's go cut down a jungle tree, I guess, is what we're going to next be doing and working on. And then let's go find a jungle tree over by uh, our azalea tree here because we have to go find that. But we want a big tree. And let's see. Gotta go chop a big boy. I don't really think I'd need like a whole ton. I would just rather have more than not enough. So that's why I want to go find like a big tree. But I don't want it to be like, oh, don't want to go in the lava. Not what I want right now. Um, let's go over here. There's just two blocks right there. Nice. Okay, let's cut down this one. Right here. Sometimes I just accidentally get too fast with the chopping and chop down the very next block I need to stand on. It doesn't usually work out that well. 
Okay, so I think I grabbed all of the branches and now we just spiral our way down. I am actually gonna speed up this process a bit to grab some of the blocks that are just stuck. Okay, and now we spiral. Get some of these. Since I have blocks that were in them. And it is becoming night, so I need to be quick about this and then go sleep again. <laughs> I don't want creepers coming to get me. Alright, perfect. Grab all of these blocks, go all the way around. Pick up everything I need. Okay. I think this is good. And now we're gonna go back through here to our area and go take a snooze in our house. Actually, let's sleep in the storage room. We just because we're gonna be over here to then get some of our rooted dirt back again. I wish there was a faster way to make rooted dirt versus just like having the little roots hanging out and doing it that way. Okay, this is, this is doing good. I have to remember where I put my saplings. I had a whole chest just for the saplings. Okay, yeah, here. And then leaves go up here. Okay, so we're good on jungle. And it's next morning. Let's eat some snacks in the doorway. Okay. Now our little trees right here and this time i think we're gonna try to like pick up any of the rooted dirt we just like happened to miss this there seems to be a lot of rooted dirt even just at the surface here so we can just make sure we get all of it and don't miss out on picking any up because that might make it a little bit easier to grab more Okay, okay. Always gets scary. Alright. And we'll use regular dirt to help us kind of like maneuver to collect other things. Okay. Alright. More rooted dirt there. Some right there. Some right there. We're just slitting in all the water from everywhere. <laughs> oh, I definitely should have brought doors. Um, let's... Uh, we can quick make some doors. Easy enough. Just collect some air really quick. Paste that down. Paste. Wow, like copy-paste. Oh no. Why were some of those with air bubbles and some of them not? Just having a good little sunbathe on the magma blocks. Okay. Now, if we go like so, we should be able to make some doors. There we go. Okay. We're good now. So let's just pop this down. Oh, come on. In, go inside. There we go. In the middle of it. Good job. Okay, and we'll bring the crafting table. And then we'll hop back down on these guys. Alright, and back down we go. like seeing you. I'm gonna light this up just because I don't know what other baddies are gonna try to come for me. But I don't want anyone coming down here. 
No thank you, I don't want to hug, but I appreciate the thought. Still very kind of you, just very much so not interested. Oh my Atlanta, that is terrifying over there. No thank you whatsoever. Not interested in the slightest in that. Holy moly. Is this the one I already tried to kill? No, I think it's a different one. Oh, interesting. I've already been over here a little bit. Is that a slime? Squishy? Oh, there's a squishy somewhere. Okay, you're gone. You with the shovel. <laughs> also gone. You gone. I don't like being in corners when I can hear growling. Not a favorite thing of mine whatsoever. Oh, where were you? Oh, right there. Hi. Rude, sir. <laughs> Not appreciated. I'm just also paranoid with all of these, like, grass pieces. Ooh. Okay, so... <laughs> That looks terrifying over there, my gosh. Um, but I think we just have to keep going down. So we're going to go back up here. Kind of scoot our way through the water. Okay, and then all of the rooted dirt is right in here, so we're gonna actually like plug up some of these holes to make it a little easier for me. And then we'll just come over here. Oops. All right, well, at least I know that we're not going to have, like, creepers and stuff getting us when I'm in the water. Can you imagine if creepers could, like, swim? Like, I know they can, like, swim at the surface, but if they could actually, like, swim down and get through, you know, that would be so, so scary. Okay. Oh, there's some fish up there. Nice. Oh, he sees me, doesn't he? Okay, you're gone. Make sure no one else is around. Ooh, it's getting dangerous. I'm a little scared, but it's okay. I'm just gonna, like, make a too high wall up here. Or like a three high. I don't want anything being able to get through to me. Okay, sweet. So I think if I just kind of like move some of these blocks, I can get down further. And that was where I had more of the, the dirt. The dirt I was looking for. And I need to make sure I keep lighting this up because I definitely don't want to get baddies in here. Not the vibes I'm going for. And we're getting another stack in some, which is great. There's so much rooted dirt in some of these, it's crazy. Need to make sure I keep my air bubbles it's funny how i'm like getting back my oxygen and i'm in like the funniest little position i'll take it though you know like it's, it's fine by me
and back up in the weird little pocket. So silly, but it works. Get our shovel ready. Ooh, why am I jumping? So funny. That was kind of silly. Ah, stop jumping. It is really nice that rooted dirt just gets collected up so quickly. Literally very helpful. Okay, and now we need to go up and around and collect a bunch of our dirt. Go swimming. Make sure we get some air quickly. And then go collect some of it. I feel like it's just gonna like randomly collect in between things. Okay, and then we go back down. Where there's a lot more of it. Okay, and then we can collect more. Okay, and I need to find some wall air pockets. Let's go stand over here. This seems like a safe spot for some water. Okay, so we're getting a lot of rooted dirt. Look at this. We've already got like four stacks in some. That's absolutely insane. And I'm just gonna kind of fill up my inventory a little bit more with it just so that I don't collect any other random things. I'm just collecting the rooted dirt. All right, get some right here. Oh. It's weird to find like the air pockets. Like here's an air pocket, so we can just go off of this one, which works great. And then we go down. And I'm gonna put a door down for this one, just in case. I don't really see any more like air pockets around. And then we'll go like so. Oh, I think we're gonna hit uh, a cave again. I'm a little bit scared to like open up into this cave because I feel like all it's gonna be is just mobs, right? That is my one concern. Let's go up into our door. Oh no, come on. Into the doorway. There we go. I feel like though we have like a ton of rooted dirt. Like this should definitely allow us to like get to finish our path. Okay. What's around here? Okay, well it seems like it's safer just because there's just axolotls and glowberries everywhere. I don't think I've been into this one yet. I don't see any bits of 
like torches or anything. But I think I just want to go up. So we're just going to swim our way up as best we can. And hopefully just get some air pockets along the way. Okay, we're doing good so far. Doing good so far. Swim up here. Perfect, okay. Awesome, that was easy. And now we just go sleep in our bed. Easy enough. Okay. Made it back. Did get killed by all those creepers and skeletons that were in that one area of the open cave, which is always good. And now we've got tons of rooted dirt, but I am gonna like drop off some of the lapis stuff because we didn't really need that stuff. Um, I know I'm like saying that I'm going to move all of this into a new area. I, I will, I'm just, uh, I will do the storage thing in a little bit. Okay, so we've got the resources that we need to finish part of this. We've got rooted dirt and regular dirt. So that feels really good just to have that. And then we can make a ton of planks. Very excited. Like, oh gosh, I did not need that many planks, but you know, it's, it's fine. We'll take it. Okay, so we've got the doors. We've got regular dirt. I'm gonna just organize these regular dirt. So uh, we have lots of coarse dirt. I think as long as we can just go and get uh, a bunch of gravel, we'll be good to keep working on the path and I think we can honestly finish it which is great so let's just jump in the water again and go find us more gravel and then we get to finish the whole path I think we'll have what we need at that point oh you just spawned I did not see you until just now okay so we're just gonna look for gravel I feel like over here I'm seeing some gravel. Yeah, we'll just uh, park right here. And just scoop. Oh no, I need silk touch. I do not want flint. <laughs> okay, let's get a little bit closer. And then we open the door. And then we take the door. And we take this door. All right. And then we're going to scoop all this up. There we go. And then we're going to take this door, plop it down there. And we go pick this up. There we go some of this gravel we've already got a full stack which is awesome pick the store up let's go move the door down oh no I wanted those guys there we go and then scoop this group up Okay, and then I think once we collect this up, we should be in a good place and have everything. Like, I don't think we'll need more than this. And I had the two doors, so the other door was here. Yeah, we already have, like, a ton of stacks. 
which is great. So we'll just grab our doors for later. And where did my doors go? One door, two door. Okay, and now we should be good. We can finish out our build. It'll be great. It's also fun to just like see what's around here. Oh, this is tons of gravel. Oh my word, that's amazing. We definitely can go there. That's awesome. Good to know. Very good to know. Okay, so now we hop up out up here, do a little parkour to hop back in. I tried to make this like tall enough so that no mobs could like hop over the fence, which is very helpful for me. Okay, so let's organize this. We've got regular dirt. We can make some coarse dirt. Beautiful. So we've got lots of coarse dirt in here now. We've got lots of rooted dirt. I'm going to put all the other random things away in other chests that we won't be needing. Okay, so we've got coarse dirt, rooted dirt. We're going to have a bunch of those. And brown concrete. Uh, we're going to use you and make a whole another group. Perfect. Two stacks. Great. So this is what we were using, and then we also had regular dirt, so we're just gonna move that, and this looks good. Okay, let's... Yeah, I think this is everything I'll need. I think we're good. So I guess, yep, I don't need anything else in there. Let's just start laying down these little slabs. I think the color of the jungle wood blends perfectly with what we have going on here like this is exactly what i wanted very happy with it okay so we can go like so i don't actually want to use these little brick guys i was just using that as like an example so that i can get the feel for how i'm gonna like step up you know walk all the way up there and then we'll go right here some more right there. Yeah, I already really like how these stairs fit with like the color scheme of the staircase. Oh, Especially with the rooted dirt and the jungle, I think those two blocks together just look real good. And then I want just regular dirt, so we're gonna just scoop this up because I need to put planks down here. There we go. And then if we curve, it can go like so. Then we can just kind of walk along any side of this that we really want to. Um, let's make this be rooted dirt, this be coarse dirt. I'm gonna set my spawn to here, so if anything happens, I'm like, buy this stuff. I'm not too far away. That's good. And then uh, this is the silk touch one again, which is fine right now for me. Um, we're actually going to swap these out. I want normal. Normal dirt. And then we can go like so. And then I need to just remember where we stopped with the brown concrete and where I ran out of it. Um, but I feel like it was right around here. So let's just start putting in some of that. There we go. I'm so excited to have this little staircase made. Like so far in our world, I haven't really done a whole lot, honestly, to make the staircases look really nice. So having this just is super fun to me. Just makes it look real good. And honestly, just anything to make walking up large amounts of stairs uh, easier is always good. So I'm very happy with this. And I'm also totally good with this just being like very wide. Okay, I still got a ton of stairs left, which is great. We're gonna go like so. And we are starting to curve it a little bit more. I don't know if I want it to be super curved yet. Maybe just shrink it a little bit by little. So like that would work. And then we'll get rid of these little slabby guys. Combine 
all of these. Okay, so I can kind of see where I have left to go. <laughs> I just love hearing him just like breathing so heavily. His little sniffs, it's so funny to me. <laughs> uh, like, yes, I can hear you. <laughs> uh, so silly. Okay, and I want to be able to curve this way. And this I can curve easily enough. Curve like so. <laughs> hmm. This one doesn't let me curve. Okay, so this is good. Liking this so far. And then what I will need to do is move in some regular dirt. So I want more dirt here because I need to get rid of some of this area. <laughs> He's clearly not happy to be in his little uh, box that I made him. Yep, yes, it's still not dark enough. And then we'll just expand this out. I love the little sniffs. It's so funny to me. The little sniffies. Okay. And then I need to see what comes next here. Oh, I definitely need to like fix this too. Because I won't have all of the right height for these to be here. So we'll just remove some of them. And then we'll get rid of those. There we go. Okay. Sweet. Now it's definitely dark enough to sleep. Gonna take some more sips of my coffee. Ah, okay. Now we continue. I just wanna free cam to see how this is looking so far. Oh yeah, just look at the difference in this path. Oh, it looks so good. And the jungle slabs. Oh, they blend so well. Definitely better than the brick, honestly. But the brick does fit the palette. But it just looks so much better. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to just transform that. It's looking so good. I'm so happy with this. <sighs> Don't you just love when like you have an idea for how something's going to look and you just have to figure out how to like actually set it up, make it look, you know, you got to figure it out. And then once you do, you're like, wow, this looks so good. Like I'm very happy with how this looks. I'm so proud of the work that I've done, like figuring all this out. Those are the best moments. Okay, now regular dirt over here. So we're probably just gonna like curve this around. Is my thought. Just do some curvature. Just start to curve it a little bit. Nothing too crazy, just enough to make it work. Okay, so far so good. Okay, so if I start to curve this now, if this is where it goes, then uh, this is kind of the edge, honestly. Right? Because like if I'm putting in some edge blocks right here, like this is kind of my edge right here. And it just kind of like flows into this area and then it's my build. So this is actually, I'm, I'm content. So let's just fill in the rest of these blocks with what we need it to be. And we've already got all our jungle slabs, so we're just doing the rest of this. Yay! Okay, so we'll keep using the fortune shovel just because I do want to collect up any regular dirt to kind of like decorate with as we go. So that's kind of like why I'm wanting to be using that instead of collecting the grass blocks. Oh, and then moss. I wanted to continue with the moss, but we can come back for that, so this is okay. And we go like so. Go like this. doesn't take much to change how a build looks, but once you've made the changes, 
it just like, make, can make your area look so good. I don't really do a lot of terraforming either, so I feel like me kind of working on this entire little hillside here is the most terraforming I've honestly done in this world so far. Uh, besides, like, I wouldn't really count, like, clearing off, like, space for a build to be, like, a, like a terraforming thing necessarily. It's mostly just, like, clearing the area. But this, I feel like, is definitely more, like, terraforming because I completely kind of, like, carved out what was previously here and I'm putting brand new things in, which, you know, I think is very nice. And we'll put in some of our regular dirt. There we go. I want to, like, get rid of the leaf, the grass being on the edge here. Because it doesn't look good anymore since we have changed so much of this. So I'm definitely going to change that out as we go up here. And then we add these guys. Here we go. There we are. I need to like remember where I put all the brown concrete. So I want to make sure I like blend it in, but I don't like put too much of it right next to each other. So there's some brown concrete, brown concrete, brown concrete. And then we'll put some of it over here in like our next little batch. This is kind of what I'm thinking. There we go. And I won't put the concrete right there. All right. Oh. And we get some rainforest ambiance. I like it. Um, a little too much. Let's put a, some coarse dirt in here. Now, as far as like what is gonna be at the top here, I kind of just want to have a variety of these same materials kind of like lining the edge of this area too. But we do need to finish bringing in all of the like leaves along the edges up to this side here. And we do need to add all of our little mud brick slabs in and really finish it out and add all of our little lanterns. But I'm really happy with how this is like looking and turning out. I did not double dirt. I am sorry to the double dirters. No double dirting was had here. But I... I think it's okay. No one's gonna know. Just you. And, you know, it's our little secret. <laughs> and then we add some coarse dirt. I'm basically just trying to, like, make space. So I can get some brown concrete in over here. And some normal dirt as well. Oops. Okay, the 
this is looking good. And let's do an aerial view. Yeah, I'm liking it. Yep. This will look wonderful. And then we're going to slowly like transform all of this at the top into the same type of like color scheme with everything. But for now, I don't want to mess with this top area quite yet. I just want to get all of the blocks in for this path. That was the goal. So I'm good with this. So let's go and grab all of our little slabs and leaves. That's what we're gonna add next. And we need to make a lot more lanterns. So we need to go grab a bunch of iron. And look at this path. Oh, I love this so much. This looks so good. Oh, I'm so happy. So, so happy. Ah, and it's just got the rainy atmosphere. I, I love it so, so much. But let's get rid of everything else we don't need right in this moment. We don't need all this extra coarse dirt or rooted dirt, so we'll just move some of this out of the way. We're gonna grab a bunch of our leaves now. And I don't have a bunch of iron, and I do need to get more torches. So what we're gonna do is we're going to grab more moss as well. Grabbing all of these things. We need moss, we need some of this packed mud because we need to make more of these little guys, little slabbies. Like that, and then we're gonna turn torches into lanterns, so let's go grab some lanterns really quickly. I also need to eat. Let's just get some foods in us, how about that? And I should have enough iron inside of my mini storage room that I started with, so I think if we just go and check it out... We're also gonna sleep in here just because it is nighttime at this point, so let's take a little snooze first. A little nap. Alright, and the last thing is leaves and iron, which feels really good that we've gotten all of this done. I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. Like, I love, literally love how this looks. And we'll put all of the iron back. And now, yeah, we got everything we need. We just need the, the pick and the hoe to pick these guys up. And let's go do the final additions before we call this path done. I will do some more terraforming. Oh look, a rainbow. Very pretty. I will do some more terraforming for like the floating edges and things, but I just thought it would be kind of like a fun, very relaxing thing to work on a path together, whether you're doing Minecraft stuff, whether you're getting tasks done around the house, or if you're like studying, sleeping, whatever it is, I just thought that this would be a fun thing to do together. And the the terraforming of the sides isn't necessarily quite as fun. We'll put all of our little torches away and put some lanterns in their place. And then we can start adding these little guys too. Just like that, to just kind of add to the area. And I think this will just kind of like make the look also complete. We'll put a little guy there, and put a torch. Replace the torch, there we go. Put a little slabby guy, we'll put one. I don't really like it being right there on top of the leaves, but like, let's just leave it as one. I get to kind of figure that out along the way too. And then remove the torch, put down the lantern. Then we come up here, just like so. I'm good with that up there. There we go. Oh, let me pick up the little torch. This guy, there we go. Put two right here. Put the torch, there we go. And we'll put them right there, like so. And then right here, we'll put one. There we go. And then right here. We'll do one right there, and then let's put some moss down here. Because then we can put one right there as well. And then we can put the little guy there. There we go. Perfect. Hmm, that doesn't look as good. We'll leave that alone. 
Hopefully you will leave that one alone. And then right here, so I don't want a full block. There we go. And then this is where I didn't continue putting these. So I need to decide where these are gonna go. And let's have one be right here, honestly. So let's go like so, like that. The next one on this side, I feel like would go good, maybe like right up here. Let's put it right here. And then we can go like so. It's a little bit higher up compared to like how close together the others are, but I think it's okay. And then we can put one right here. Just like that, kind of across from each other. The next one, we can fit it maybe like right here and then put a little slab guy there. Next one, let's place them right here is good. I'm okay if I lose a leaf, that's fine by me. Go right here. And on this side, this one has to be like up here. Like right here, I feel like this is where it has to go. Right like that. And this is kind of a far distance. Let's just move it over slightly. There we go. And then because they are pretty close together, I'm okay just leaving this like right there. That's fine by me. And then we'll move this one over a little bit. Oh. The, the sniffer, when they have the like, I just saw the subtitle, it said the sniffer delights. It sounded like Chewbacca <laughs> from Star Wars. I don't know if anyone's ever like heard the sniffers make those noises and thought the same thing, but I was like, well, that, that sounded like it was Chewbacca. That's hilarious. Okay, I'm gonna leave this like so. I think I'm gonna move the bed maybe a little bit and like put one maybe say like right here just to have a little bit of something. Kind of like edging this in, but I think we're just gonna work on the leaves next. And I'll put the bed down right here. I think the leaves is the last real piece I wanna get done before we call this good, but we'll just do some more leaf work together and I think this will look really pretty when we're done with it. There we go. Just some nice leaves. Adding to the area. More color. I think it looks really good. I'm really happy with it. It's like the best feeling when you just like... You're just happy with the, the thing you just accomplished, the build you just made, the, the terraforming project. I'm not a terraformer, but I, I am very happy with how I did here. Very happy with it. So that's always like a nice feeling, you know? This looks so good. Very cozy. And this is like the last bit, I think. We pretty much got all the other leaves. That's awesome. I love that. Okay, and then we just need to do a little bit extra, like right in here. So maybe something like that. We'll add some leaves right there. But I feel like all of this, maybe we'll like put one, we'll replace this and put one like right there. All right. Well, we got this whole path done, guys, and that is going to be the end of this Let's Play. Thank you for joining me as we made this beautiful, cozy little path leading up to the top of our mountain. I hope that you enjoyed just relaxing and building this with me, and I hope that you have a wonderful day.